when somebody messaged me and says they want a pumpkin seed jig, there's a lot of ways you can go with pumpkin seed. You can go brown pumpkin seeds, green pumpkin seeds, or you can go bright pumpkin seeds. Usually when I hear pumpkin seeds, I'm thinking of brighter colors. I'm thinking blue, chartreuse, orange, green, a ton of different colors. So I'm gonna type the first version of what I think pumpkin seed is. And then I'm gonna type another version of what somebody else thinks pumpkin seed is. So I'm gonna let y'all pick after I'll do this video number one and then video number two, I will let y'all pick on which one you think is the real pumpkin seed. This one will go up on Tuesday and the second one will go up on Wednesday. So you'll have part one and part two and I'll label them as that so y'all can keep track of them. Because I really want to know, let me know right now in the comments what you think. What color is pumpkin seed to you? Okay, so my version, part one of pumpkin seed. And I do, I probably do my pumpkin seed brighter than most people do. That's just what I think of when I hear, hear the name pumpkin seed. Uh, we are going to be using Ultra Thread 210 Denier in fluorescent orange because I'm going to be using an orange uh, Chanel on this. Peak Rotary Vice Loon Ergo Bobbin. Let's go. Let me show you what my, my version of pumpkin seed is. And that head, we have got it painted with a uh, Protec powder paint. Links will all be in the Amazon in the description. Uh, I got a base coat of white, some chartreuse sprinkled on, a little bit of black sprinkled on, and just a touch of orange. I got a little bit of every color in that that I think of when I think of pumpkin seed because I think of the small little bluegill sunfish. Me and my dad used to call them pumpkin seed, so that's probably how I always got into that's what a pumpkin seed looks like. So right behind the head, just like always, three or four wraps, and then all the way down to the point of the hook. And this one is a 16th ounce freestyle jig head with the number four straight J hook. Uh, got all these from Jason Brummel. That's, I'll put a link to how you can get a hold of him in the description also. And to start out with, we are using a orange and blue hackle feather. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. But that blue on that orange almost makes it look purple. But that was the closest to a good blue that I had. We're going to go all the way down to the point of the hook. And we're probably going to do three layers of feathers. One, two, and then three. We'll do three on each, each jig. And that way I know they come out even. They come out, they'll, they'll look the same pretty close to it they'll they'll never be the same ones but they'll they'll all resemble each other pretty closely anytime you're making handmade anything you know unless you're using molds or uh, some kind of fixture or jig or something like that it's it's hard to make each one exactly the same so where's layer number two on the side we're going to wrap it back up and we'll roll it over to this side. It's going to be a little heavy on the feathers, but that's all right. Those freestyle heads will let you fill the tails up pretty good. And it lets you go kind of heavy on the Chanel, too. So here we go. We've got two more on this side. And I'm trying to decide if I want the blue sticking out or the orange sticking out. I don't think it really matters. Probably should have had a little green in the tail. What do you think? Send me a message. Let me know. Comment on this. Well, like I said, this is part one. So stay tuned for part two. And I'll show you the other uh, pumpkin seed. So there we go. That's what we got so far. Now we're going to put some Chanel on it. And maybe this is where I'll put in my touch of green. Yeah. This will work. So we're going to pull out... I got like five strands right there. Let's pull out those five strands, six strands, something like that. I'm gonna lay it right on the back, on the bottom of the jig head. So this is gonna be on the belly. Loose wraps all the way till you get to the point of the hook. Now, when you start coming back up, now you can start tightening it. Okay, so we got our flash tied in, we got our feathers tied in, and next we are going to start with our, our, uh, Chanel, this is hairline dubbing. 
hairline dub it some of the best chanel and that's the the best price ever you will find for chanel and i don't know why this is priced so much cheaper this is three dollars for three yards i mean that's that's an awesome price and it's a really good chanel i've been using this chanel for a long pretty much since i started this type of chanel so we'll get our loose little fibers out of there and it's a thick chanel so i'm gonna come back here and start about halfway down with my chanel get it wrapped up to the hook back up to the head get our bobbin out of the way and we're going to start kind of stretching that chanel pulling it kind of tight when i get up here to the head you'll see how tight you'll see it start to move see it i don't hold back on it i put that peak rotary vice to the test actually it usually ends up just putting the hooks to the test blue thread would have worked better right here too and let that neck show some we ain't gonna go that other rack. Yeah, yeah, we are too. Tuck it down in there pretty good. One more time over. I thought this is what I seen when I think pumpkin seed, but actually it's kind of not. I think I went a little too dark on the feathers with the blue and the fluorescent orange feathers look more like red. But it's still gonna be a pretty cool jig. Would you fish it? Pretty sure I would. I know I would, there's no doubt I would. Let's cut our thread off and let's go to the eyes. And for this one, I chose to use a blue eye. I got another sheet that started, got some started on. We're gonna take one off that one. I think it's kind of a cool looking jig. <coughs> Excuse me, I really think the blue eyes are gonna be what sets it off. And I'm right, I think it does. Not really pumpkin seed, so I gotta disagree with myself on this one being pumpkin seed. It's gotta have some kind of name to it. That's what I thought of first when I when I hear the name pumpkin seed. That's, I mean, that, that is actually the colors that came into my head. Orange, blue, red, green, a little bit of black. Let's put our UV resin on. Everybody's got an opinion on color sometimes what you think a pumpkin seed might not be somebody else's thing of pumpkin seed so remember that if you're ordering jigs from somebody and you've got a picture of one that is the best way most people can most guys that are tying any kind of jigs flies making plastics if you can get them a picture of what they're what you're looking for it helps them out greatly all right so we got all that uv resin brushed on i'm still calling it pumpkin seed We'll still call it pumpkin seed. I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm doing my light. There it is. Give a quick little cure of it. I bet that's a crappie catching jig. I bet it is a crappie catching jig. Guarantee it. Check that baby out. I think it's kind of nice i like it what do y'all think pumpkin seed yes or no is that a thumbs up on part one or a thumbs down on part one for being pumpkin seed here's what i'm doing i'm giving it a thumbs down on being pumpkin seed i don't really know what color that that is but it's not and i'm, I'm I, I think i'm still thinking orange blue greens i probably should add a little more green in the tail maybe i should have went with a different color chanel kind of a cool looking jig though i'm going to fish it is it worth it what y'all think like share subscribe and thank you guys for watching i greatly greatly appreciate it